What's good YouTube, Nate with Mass Collector. Um, I'm gonna be putting in a lot of PSA submissions this weekend. Um, they're raising their prices after doubling their prices on Monday. So I'm putting in a couple more regular submissions in before Monday. Um, and also some big bulk ones as well. So trying to get as much in as I can. I know, you know, yeah, the wait's gonna be long, but might as well get them in there. I mean, it's not like they're not gonna get any more orders. So um, I'm shipping a bunch out next week. So here's the next uh, regular submission one, which is probably a couple months, maybe a little bit longer. So first one up is Christian Woods, rated rookie 2015 Donruss. Um, I was buying these last year. I'm sure you've seen my other videos if you have. Um, for like, you know, 10 bucks or under. And really nice condition. I mean, it's it's perfect. It's a, definitely a 10. It should be anyways. I can't see why it would not get a 10. So that's that one. The back. It's nice and centered. Uh, another Christian Wood, uh, the Rookies card. And again, it's um, it's really clean all the way around. Centered really, you know, really really nice. No issues, no scratches, no nothing. So should get a pretty high grade. Um, Kobe Bryant's scoreboard autographed basketball um, series. First round draft pick, number 13. Got his high school jersey on. Uh, this one here I pulled out of a pack when I was uh, in college. You can kind of see a little bit of a little whatever there, but again, um, that's pretty much all that's wrong with this thing. Uh, Kobe Bryant, Fleer rookie, Fresh Foundation, 1994. Six. That other one was a 96 too. I don't think I don't remember if I said 95 or not. And I've looked at all these again. I pulled them all out just to make sure um, everything looks really, really good on all of these cards. Otherwise I wouldn't be spending 50 bucks to get them graded. Um, Kobe's Skybox Premium Rookie. And Kobe's Stadium Club Rookie. This one's really nice. Um, I got a couple more of these. And you can tell they have some gold foil on the back like it was stuck to another card. And the foil was left on the back of these cards. This one here you can see a lot better. See that? And down here you can kind of see it's scattered. So I was trying to see if I can get, somehow get that off without scratching the card, but if you guys have any any idea how to do that, please let me know. So it's that one. This one here is really, really, really nice. So Kobe's cards are, you know, they're going they're going off right now. RIP Kobe. Upper deck rookie. 96. Again, it's you know perfect condition. There's nothing wrong with these things. Uh, Dennis Rodman, 88 Fleer. I got a bunch of them, and I just keep submitting one at a time now. Um, with my bulk submissions or with the really nice ones I'm sending in as regular. Um, the nine grades, PSA nines, are now going for 600 and over. I think one just sold tonight for over 600 bucks. I was watching it on eBay. And 585 
uh, plus shipping. So $600 for a PSA 9. I know it's PWCC, but there's also other ones that are up in that $500 to $600 area. So this, um, this looks really good, you know, I mean, it's centered pretty much perfectly all the way around, I think. Maybe pushed to the, to the left a little bit, but top to bottom look pretty, pretty good. Uh, the back looks good. Uh, based on the nines that I have, this is a nine at least. It might get a 10. Uh, Scotty Pippen, 88 Fleer rookie. Left to right, pretty good. Top to bottom, yeah, not the best. It's got a little uh, yellow print bubble right there. And also it's kind of, you know, it's not the best job on the black here, but overall it looks pretty good. Um, it's definitely not centered on the back, but in a big circle there. I'll see if I have another Pippin to, to send in instead of this one, but I think I picked the best one that I had left out of, out of the ones I bought last year. Michael Jordan, 88 Fleer. Um, it's not a 10, but it could very well be a nine. There's, the color is great, edges and everything, corners. But I'm guessing it's a it's a nine, eight or a nine. So at least a five hundred dollar card there. Uh, Eighty eight All Star, Jordan. Um, you know, slightly off centered, top to bottom, left to right a little bit, but not not bad. Little little wear on top. Nothing to uh, be too concerned about though. I don't think. The edges all the way around you. Sides and bottom look really good. And this is one of my favorite cards of all time, besides the rookie card that I don't have. Uh, this is the 88 sticker, and it's definitely pushed up and pulled over a little bit centering wise, but you know, it could fetch a eight or a nine and stickers don't grade easy. The back of this is actually really nice because there's no wax or anything on it. It's, it's pretty clean. There's a couple white spots down here, but other than that, it looks pretty good for, for a sticker. Larry Bird, 88. Fleer, um, not perfectly centered, but it's it's almost there. The back is looks good. You know, I think it's it's probably a nine. I know I sold a 10 of that last year for, for 250, 300 or something. So it's definitely worth getting sent in for. Um, Larry's 1988 Fleer All-Star card. This one looks really good uh, on the sides, top to bottom. It's pushed up a little bit, but not bad. On the back, it looks really good, except for just a little bit on top there. So we'll see what, what happens there. I think PSA is getting really strict on grading. So they make it nitpicky with a lot of stuff, but you know, with the way that they're backed up, who knows how long they're taking, if they have a set time for each card or what. But uh, Carl Malone, 88 Fleer. Uh, this one's pretty nice. Even the back looks good. And this was one for my personal collection when I was uh, pulling them out of packs in 1988. Same with this one. John Stockton. Pretty much perfect condition. Not centered perfectly, but it's damn close. Uh, even the back looks pretty good. So, for centering wise. Got a good shot out of 10, I think. And here we got a uh, Charles Barkley 87 sticker All-Star, which is centered perfectly. The edges and corners look really, really good. Uh, there's no scratches on the surface. I pulled all these cards out and looked them over. No wax build up on the back, nothing. It's totally spotless. 
Uh, it's the nicest sticker from 87 that I've seen besides some of those Jordan ones I sent in. But it's Barkley. It's an 87 sticker. He's a Hall of Famer. And since I was sending in stickers, I figured I, I got this one here. I've had this for a long time. Um, Dominique Wilkins, All-Star. And this one's really clean too. There's nothing on the back or nothing, so. Next up is Magic Johnson's starting lineup, 1988. Uh, this thing is like perfect condition. There is no issues with it. It's perfectly centered, top to bottom, left to right. Um, the back looks great. Uh, I think this is a, a definite 10 um, candidate. Looks great. Michael Jordan, 88 starting lineup, another one. I'm sending in this one here is uh, is centered really really well. Um, edges look great, corners look great, colors fantastic. Um, the back is about as perfect as you can get for a back. I got a little something here. I think that's just on the sleeve, but let me make sure. Something flowing around in there. Let me get that out of there. Like a hair or something. I'll put a new sleeve on it. But I'll show you guys the... You know, there's nothing. No surface issues at all. All the corners look just super crisp. And check out what nines are selling for, let alone tens. I mean, it's if it gets a ten, I mean, it's they're starting to creep up like in that five thousand dollar range, if not more, which is just amazing. I saw some sold for like fifteen thousand, but I'm pretty damn sure those are like shill bitted fuckers out there. Um, got really good hopes on this one. Really nice. Starting lineup 1990, brown border. This one's really nice. All the corners, it's centered really, really good. Back's perfect. And the last one I got for this one here is the 1990 yellow border starting lineup, Jordan which again is, is really, you know, there's nothing wrong with these things, man. The only thing I think could ding me on this one is the back not being centered perfect, perfectly, but they are more lenient on the backs than they are the faces. And this is definitely within parameters for that. The face side is perfect. So really good feeling about this submission. Um, You know, Christian Wood, I think he's definitely going to be an all-star next year. A lot of Kobe rookies coming through, you know, the, best, the rest of the best of my 88 cards. So thanks for, for, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate the support, you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit that bell for notifications. Uh, when I put out new videos, you'll be notified. And uh, give it a thumbs up. That all helps uh, direct people to my channel. And please comment, what do you guys think um, about some of these cards, you know? Again, question about the wax. If you guys know any tricks of the trade on how to remove wax from um, those 88 stickers from the backs, that would be great. So thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.